You made out with two girls last night? Yeah. That's awesome. I want to kiss somebody. What? Huh? The car needs a wash. Which one? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Xander? Uh, I sure am. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> today, we are taking the Tesla through the car wash. And today, we're also taking the Tesla through the car wash. <laughs> The dryer, I like, literally had my mouth open. It was all, like, like a fan in my face. Do you face. feel clean? It's clean as. And the car still works. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Fish Tank. Today, we will be presenting our genius inventions. Let us begin with our first guest, Xander Gabriel, rambunctious man. Why don't you come up here and uh, show us what you've got. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. I guess everyone, I just mean you, Chris. Let's just get straight into it. In this box, we have something extraordinary, something that I don't think anyone's ever done before. The Z-Shot distributor. Wow. And what is this for, you may ask? You know, you're a bartender, you're at home, you have guests over. Oh my God, everyone needs shots? Boom, oh, three shots of Tito's down the bar? I gotcha. We pour it on in the top, and wow. Everyone is getting distributed perfect shots. Go ahead and check out inside there. I drilled from the bottom up and there's these nice rubber pieces keeping it very sealed so there's no leakage, no lackage. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then you can, oh, Tito's for me. <laughs> Tito's for me. Ta-da! I'm taking offers for investments. I gotta give you credit for that. That is like pretty smart. Like I wanna use this at our next function. All right, my name is Rafael and my invention is the Miss Mary Jane. You don't see it on here, right? Why? Because it is pocket efficient. What you do is you get your oregano, put it in here, you close it. All you gotta do is use this to turn it. And then, boom. What was that, Xander? You'd like a beer as well? Oh yeah, no problem. We have one right here for you. Just gotta bow. <laughs> Here's your beer. Oh wait, what was that? Get back to the uh, fucking oregano. Here we go. Asking for a friend. Does this work for like bongs? Crack? Can you tell me what this is? It's like a bottle of hand sanitizer. Yeah, during these times, very important. Right. Well, I can tell you that you're wrong. What? It's a disguise for actually this KY jelly. No one wants to get caught in the room with some freako shit like this. So we have the disguise bottle. So that's lube? This is lube. So let me just demonstrate here. Let's just say you're uh, bedside, whatever, you know, about to go to sleep. Bam, there it is. So what do you guys think of my idea? Uh, what prevents the people from just like buying one of those and then just putting that in one of those without you? Shit, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll move on to the next idea. AirPods, right? AirPods are great. Very, very expensive. What, $150? Those pros, $300 or something? Very small and easy to lose. And so that's why I have invented the AirPod safety straps. Wow. Never lose your AirPods. Let's just say you're skating or whatever, doing your little moves or whatever, you know, yeah, your yeah. tricks and stuff, uh -huh. and it fell out. Whoa! Normally, yeah. it would fall through the couch or whatever, but you have this to not yeah, lose no it. One. 
What is that? That's if it's lost, I just tap this thing right here, left, and then it makes a noise to find the AirPod. We have that technology? It just came out like yesterday or what? No, it's, it's been in there for ever since it came out. You can do them both individually yeah. to find them? Yeah. Okay. Um, what if you're in a loud place? Do, there's a map with a tracker of it on. You can find it with maps? Yeah. What if it falls in the sewer? Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bring back the solar flare. Chris looks like shit without his solar flare. You're just making that up. I didn't Bring say that. Solar no, flare. I did say that. Yeah. Oh my god, Xander, the most honest person. No, it does say that. No, we're not going back to that. That's the old chapter. Well, I'm gonna solar flare your hair. You, you don't even know how to do it. Actually, we can't. It, it takes a long time. It doesn't. It takes 30 minutes. I've bleached my hair before. Bleach it, and then you put the fucking shit in do it. Do I have bleach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You're gonna ruin my hair that's already ruined. Have I ever ruined your hair? No. Okay. People wanna say that love is just too way crazy. You know they may be right. I just had my oatmeal with my banana blueberry, and now I will have my some sort of variation of eggs. It's crazy how I eat eggs every day, and I still have not gotten tired of them my entire life. And we are, we don't have eggs! Oh, no eggs? How do we have white claws but no eggs? If there's a will, there's a way. Well, we gotta get eggs. Off to the grocery store. Hey, stay like the wind. Chris, 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 wait, Chris. Very important. Oh, thank you. Stay like the wind. Come on. On my screen! Ah! Damn it! from Chicago, I was in the waiting area at the airport and I saw these two nice looking females. Mm. And I was like, oh, it's sick. There's some cute chicks on my plane. I'm waiting and I'm sitting, I go get snacks or whatever. I get on my plane looking for my seat. I usually like to board last. I don't like to wait in line. I'm going to my seat, seat number 27. And I look and I see it's those fucking girls in your aisle? Yes. Sitting with you? Oh shit. Like, oh. Holy shit, what are the odds? That's like a fantasy of mine is like sitting next to a cute girl on a plane. And I know! Fucking I saw them right there. What? What? <laughs> There's like a shit ton of seats. Like what are the odds, dude? So immediately I'm like, alright, I need to say something like straight off the bat because... Hi. So it's not awkward. Yeah, you. yeah. And I don't say anything. I think oh I, fuck. I think... Yeah, I don't, I don't say anything. I just like... Not or something. I don't know. I don't say anything, and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't say anything. Five minutes passes, and I'm like, okay, now it'll be weird if I say anything. Okay. And I'm like, no, that's stupid. Just say something. It's yeah. like, I'm just like, just say, say anything. something, anything. And then I'm thinking like, oh shit, if I say like the wrong thing or say something weird to come off as the weird, plane ride is gonna suck. It'll be like awkward, yeah, because I'm like stuck with them now. So I just don't say anything. And um, I was almost like sick to my stomach, like trying to say like a word, and I just could not get myself to say a word, which is like crazy. Uh -huh. it's pretty girls, dude. Right. And um, please tell me there's a fucking happy ending. And so I wait towards the end, and I'm like, 
okay, maybe if I just say something at the end of the flight, it's like, it's okay because at least I'm getting off for going our separate ways, right? Uh-huh. And then I started thinking like, oh my God, you know how weird it would be to like not say anything the entire flight and then at the end of the flight start a conversation. Like, no, I was like, that's weird. Yeah. And so, yeah, the entire flight I just didn't say anything. Oh my 